improv party techniques. I took an acting class once. It was pretty fun, and apparently I did pretty good. The teacher recommended I take an improv class, which I thought was only for comedy, but it was for much, much more. How to be spontaneous, even when performing a well-rehearsed collection of lines. For example, even when A-list actors are performing up on stage, they can have a lot of chemistry or not so much. Much. What exactly does this mean? First, consider a romantic pair that doesn't have chemistry. They both say their lines believably, but it doesn't seem real. When one person says their line, it doesn't seem to be a genuine emotional response to what the other person said, even though they are saying their lines exactly like the director wants them to. That this does happen a lot indicates you can't really tell who will have chemistry with whom until you put them in a scene together. But you can improve how well you can have chemistry with more people by improving your improv skills. Beneath the lines, there are tons of emotions going back and forth. But if you only remember the lines, you won't be responding to the other person's emotions. But if you say the lines based on your partner's emotions, you will have much more chemistry. This is what improv class teaches. How to bounce back and forth emotionally from your acting partner even when you are performing rehearsed lines. This is a very attractive trait. It is structurally similar to learning a language. When you are a beginner, you are not fluent. When you hear the target language, you translate that, come up with a response in your own language, and then translate that and then respond. This is very, very clunky. But once you pass the point of fluency, you hear, think, and respond all in the new language, much more effective and natural. Many times, even though you are speaking your native language, we still tend to process things consciously, which is slow and clunky. But when you respond quickly, spontaneously, and emotionally, it is much more attractive, much more natural, much more charismatic. And because very few people can do this, you'll stand out in a crowd of wooden people trying to use only their conscious brains to impress each other. One way to do this is to not feel on the spot, to see their words as not demanding any kind of response from you, to see their words as a playful opportunity, to create laughter, humor, and good feelings. To learn how, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash confusion dash generator.